Okay, so we're gonna film this one. Rua Farnao Mendes Pinto. So we're gonna stroll kind of down to that little artwork and just kind of show you what's all around here. So we'll give you a little context. That's Kingsville. And we'll be back in a minute and we'll get started with this one. Chiquinha. Chiquinha. Let's go check out the room. Okay, I'm the content creator for this channel. If you like what I'm doing, just subscribe. And hit the like button. So here we are. That's gonna be our focus. Um, before we go down, let's just kind of show you some of the stuff that's around here. Um, so this is kind of entry into type of village and then you got some kind of cool stuff like, like bee leaf, which has um, kind of Thai food, Malaysian food, stuff like this. Thai characters. Um, Korean food as well, kind of a mix of different stuff. So uh, before we get started going down behind me, we're going to just kind of put little things in context around here. It's a nice place to kind of sit and relax. Um, this is um, mostly Korean food. And so you can see it like here, Hanguk. Hanguk, uh, Vivek, barbecue. Barbecue uh, in, in Korean, barbecue, uh, probably the same in Chinese. Um, anyways, that's a uh, um, Korean restaurant. French bakery right here. And then I've always found this kind of cool too. There's another one right here, bee leaf. So this is the same space. And then you also have this kind of cool stuff right there. Amazing balcony. Got a French bakery right there. Just kind of, before we go down our little street, we're gonna just kind of focus on this a little bit. There's a Japanese um, yakitori restaurant right there. Um, and this is kind of give a lot more context. So we've got a French bakery right there. Um, this is called a, um, they do a phone services here. And then this one is, you know, Japanese yakitori. That looks pretty good actually. So you can see inside of that. And that's basically this one right here. So what we're gonna do is head back down to our main street that we wanted to focus on. But you can see yakitori, Japanese yakitori. Lots of really good stuff in here. Prices are pretty high too, dang. Okay. So we're gonna put, head back. That's Kingsville right there. Um, Avenida Olympica. And we're gonna head down in this little alley. I always like those apartments, look like, so cool. Okay, so we're gonna head on down. Give you a little context of the street. So we're gonna go down one side and then come up the other side. So um, so this is the other one of Bee Leaf, which has um, lots of pretty good prices. Um, 52, 53, 45. Um, okay. Let's just keep on looking around in here. Ducks. Got a little alley in here. Huh. That alley is kind of interesting to ex explore. I don't see a name for it, but this is our focus. But let's just walk in here for one second. Put a little context and stuff. So um, there's some buildings in here. Here's a Christian church, Ho Kong Christian Church. You got this little thing down here. You got some food here, and you got this down here too. And that goes out to um, Main Road again. All right, so now we know it's in here. That could be a whole other video. Let's just head back on out. Looks like a lot of people park in this area as well. So kind of interesting, as always. So we got this, we got a big ladder coming this way. Oops. Huh. Going into the alley. Okay, so here we got Portuguese food. Agueda, comida portuguesa. Huh. Okay. Figure salad. Huh. Okay, let's keep on going down. So we're gonna get some more restaurants down this way too. Um, looks like something since 1949. 
Hmm, looks like it's going to be something new and different. Pork chop bun. So let's come over here a little bit. Apartment. Macau Food Festival, so let's see. This one is just a regular place with um, ham and bread and eggs. Noodles, so it's kind of a fusion. It's kind of interesting when you see these fusion places because in Asia you don't really eat eggs and bread. But when they mix it, that's kind of what they associate for Western food. So that's kind of the, the thing that ends up coming across. And then you got this kind of cool alley that goes all the way down to Taipei Village. And some beautiful trees. You got a temple right over here, which I should focus on, but the tree looks pretty cool too. Let's just step down a little bit. So you got a temple right here. Then you got another building here too, Patio Cafe. So this one looks like it's a coffee shop. I think this is new. I haven't seen this before. You see it's open and then there's a there's a um, temple right here. And then this used to be a firecrackers factory right here. So let's um, walk across here a little bit. Then we're going to check out the Patio Cafe. And I haven't really seen this before. So it looks like this inside. Huh. Interesting. Cool. Huh. Very interesting. Okay, so we're gonna head back on out. And now we're back in this area. Got a sporting goods shop. Um, hair salon, I guess. And I, th I don't remember the story of these ones, but I think that these used to be where um, the police, little police kiosk would, would be. So they would, um, I don't know exactly how they were used, but it's just enough space for a policeman to sit. And now they just kind of stay as, um, so now they just kind of put cleaning supplies in there. Just to kind of clean the sidewalks or paint. They also got paint in there too. Okay. Kind of interesting. right there too right and this goes up to the uh, main road up that way but we're gonna not go up the main road we're gonna keep going down our road got a Japanese ramen place really nice decor there we go so that's the coffee cafe right there um, let's just kind of get up to the top and then we'll end it The Portuguese, so Manuel Cozinho, the Portuguese kitchen. Cozinho is a kitchen, I believe. This one's spicy attic. This one's kind of a late at night place. And I guess you can get a pretty spicy, and you get some beer there too. Yeah. Yeah, very spicy. Okay, so. More, another place to get food and beer. Then this goes up to the main road again. Huh, it's not bad. I have lift, two bedrooms, price is 5,000. It's, it's a really good price. Okay. Then we're gonna head back up here and then we'll give you some context. This is a Hua for now, Mendes Pinto. There's a sign right there. We'll just kind of walk up a little bit further and then we'll um, put everything in context for you. Bubble tea, popular everywhere in Macau. So this is kind of the main road here. So yeah, a nice flower shop. That's our focus of that street right there. There it is. Um, that goes all the way to Taipa Village. That goes into the main part of Taipa, the um, School of Nations and stuff like that. If you keep following that, it goes all the way to Macau. That goes all the way down to Kolowan. And then we're gonna end it back in our main spot right there. 
Chiquinha, Chiquinha, toma cuidado da bovininha.